What's up, everyone? It's Mr. Smith. Welcome into this week's ATW, where tonight the topic is going to be on complex societies and the G Sprite method. So we've transitioned so far from the Paleo, Meso, and Neolithic eras to now where we're really going to start seeing how human beings began to lay the foundations for eventually what we'll be talking about, which are complex societies. And how we're going to assess and define complex societies really comes down to utilizing a tool that this is going to become a routine, a consistent routine we use throughout the entire school year. And we're going to evaluate and break down these complex societies, which shared many certain characteristics we've already discussed, sedentary, agrarian, agricultural-based lifestyles. But as time evolves, here's the cool thing about what I'm about to introduce. We're going to use this as a continuity, something that stays the same, something that is continuous. And the method that we're going to attack all our complex societies from now until the end of the school year is through the G Sprite method. The G stands for geography. With the geography, we're looking to ask questions about how does geography shape a society? Would a society have a different structure, or a different outcome, or a different history if it weren't for geography? We're gonna pay attention to physical features. We're gonna pay attention to mountains and rivers and proximity to other bodies of water. And we'll also get into issues like how geography aided or hurt a society's development. Number two, social. This is gonna really focus on the people of that complex society. We're gonna look at how their social norms evolve, We'll talk about gender roles, which is something we looked at with the Jared Diamond, worst mistake reading. And we're gonna look at family, morals, race, ethnicity, all those lumped into the social component of G-Sprite. Next, we've got political. Government. This is where we'll look at the style of government. This is where we'll look at whether it was a monarchy, whether it was a republic, whether it was a democracy, a dictatorship, etc. We're gonna look at their rules, their laws, famous peoples, this is really where we're gonna hone in on government. And something that we'll wanna cement throughout the year is how did the government change over time? Another major theme for our history course is looking at how politics and government changed over time. Let's move on to the R, religion. Bravo, bravo. And we're gonna look at this with a non-biased perspective. We're talking about gods, goddesses, important religious texts, bringing back some of the social aspects with morals, perhaps there's a crossover there. We're gonna look at the growth of certain religions around the world, and most importantly, we'll look at how these religions helped these respective complex societies and civilizations evolve over time. And even when we get into the modern eras, continuing to look at religion and also focusing on key religious leaders throughout world history will be a significant chunk of G Sprite. We're down to only three more, and the next I stands for intellectual. This is where we'll focus on key ideas, transformative thoughts that came from this complex civilization or society. We'll look at key people that were part of intellectual movements, philosophers, books, educators. We'll take a look at how paintings and music and film as we evolve in different forms of expression stemmed from this complex society. Next, we'll get into technology. That's the T, technology. Keep on fire! What major inventions, what innovations, what developments occurred, communication tools, and really answering the question of technology always comes down to one thing. How or why did that technology help that society advance? Or maybe, perhaps, did that technology help that society advance? There are cases where we'll study that as well. And something else we'll be focusing on is dependency of technology. What happens if a society, a complex civilization, becomes too dependent on one given technology? Finally, the last E in G Sprite is economic. The rebound! Taxes, money, trade is a part of economics. The uses of land and how that was turned into profit. Businesses, 
We'll look at different types of economies, especially when we get into the more modern era, looking at like capitalism versus communism and socialism. But ultimately, we want to drive this towards questions of how the economic forces affected its government, its people. We can really crisscross and we can match these together and pair them up with each other, put them in groups. Yeah! No matter what we're looking at with G Sprite, this gives us an attack plan. We will never look at a society or a civilization this year in global or WAP when we're talking about where do I look at it? What do I look for? Where, how do I decide what's important, what matters? You'll always be able to rely on G Sprite. And something else that's really nifty about G Sprite is we're going to give you guys access to these G Sprite charts, which you're seeing here on screen. And this is what you'll use as your notes. This is what you will have access for for study guides. This is what we'll work on as group activities, sometimes in class, sometimes for homework, whether on readings, whether on an ATW. Regardless, G Sprite is going to be a great tool this year for, to help us appreciate history more and get more in depth. How far you take your G Sprites, we're going to model these and look at you know what's an acceptable G Sprite versus what's too small uh, of an effort for a G Sprite. But regardless, the G Sprite is, is a staple of what we're going to do this year. Boom, shakalaka! Be prepared tomorrow for the activity in class to have to decide whether or not something that I put up on the screen fits into, you know, you have to decide what it fits into as far as a G Sprite category. So I'm going to give you guys some examples. We'll test and see how we all do on our knowledge of G Sprite, but that's really it. And then expect we're going to start laying the foundation for our first early civilization, which is going to be Mesopotamia. So very excited to get into Mesopotamia with you all tomorrow. Hope you have a great night. As always, remember the past shapes the future. Have a good night, everyone.